When you hear stock trading, what probably comes to mind is the New York Stock Exchange trading floor. However, as trading has shifted from physical exchanges to electronic markets, multiple trading venues now compete with each other for orders, a phenomenon called market fragmentation. My name is Elaine Wall, and I'm a PhD student in computer science and engineering at the University of Michigan. Together with my advisor, Professor Michael Wallman, I've been investigating how high-frequency trading and market fragmentation may have serious implications on market performance and returns for regular investors. Fragmentation opens the door for price disparities across exchanges. An exchange determines prices by matching buy and sell orders. Since each exchange receives its own stream of orders, the prices on two exchanges may differ. To address this issue, U.S. securities regulations mandate order routing and cross-exchange communication. Order routing aims to ensure that orders execute at the best price available nationally, not just at the best price on a given exchange. To achieve this, exchange information is aggregated by an entity called the Security Information Processor to determine a global quote called the National Best Bid and Offer. However, it takes time to receive new market information and update the NBBO, so this global quote may not always be precisely up to date. Latency in computing and disseminating aggregate information can be exploited by high-frequency trading or the use of algorithmic trading strategies that respond especially fast to market information. Such traders rapidly process market information to predict immediate price movements. An HFT strategy called latency arbitrage takes advantage of superior speed to find price disparities before they are generally known, essentially computing its own version of the MBBO, which can then be exploited to generate risk-free profits. This situation has led to a latency arms race, where HFTs try to determine the best prices faster than other traders through specialized computer hardware and software, direct data feeds from exchanges, and co-location, where firms pay a premium to place their computers as close to an exchange's servers as possible. Our proposed solution to prevent exploitation of latency advantages is to switch to a centralized call market, where orders are matched to trade at discrete periodic intervals, rather than the continuous time matching employed in virtually all modern stock markets. In a call market, there is no benefit to small speed advantages since all orders are processed and matched at the same time. To answer counterfactual questions about the effects of latency arbitrage, we developed a two-market model that captures market fragmentation, communication latencies, and current securities regulations. We simulated traders operating at different speeds, and we found that not only does latency arbitrage decrease the profits of regular investors, it also reduces aggregate surplus or overall gains from trade. Surplus is a measure of market efficiency or how well the market is allocating trades among investors. Switching to a centralized call market, which eliminates latency arbitrage, significantly improves surplus. By facilitating the study of market efficiency, our model offers a tool for rigorously evaluating financial markets. We believe it can play a constructive role in the debate around HFT and better inform future policy decisions on fragmentation in market structure.